Welcome one and all back to the world of Middle Earth and we have another Dawner's Day submod that has been released. This is the Wayne Rider submod as a whole bunch of new factions and as you might guess by the title of the submod it does add the Wayne Riders as the main faction in this one here. So yeah we have a whole bunch of new factions and this is a submod that's set earlier in the Third Age when the Wayne Riders are quite prevalent and a threat to the uh, world of men. Uh, being men themselves, the evil ones uh, that ride chariots and horses and are very, very dangerous. So yeah, we're going to see a very, very different sort of build of an army here in this sort of faction overview and also sort of like sub mod sort of showcase that I kind of have going on here in this one. But yes, I'm going to do a quick sort of overview of uh, the Wayne Riders, which are the main faction in this mod. We did actually show off the Wayne Riders uh, sub mod in the most recent uh, siege battle we did in the Siege of Dale where Thrandall is defending with his wood elves. But yes, we're going to show off the Wayne Riders, which didn't actually feature in that in that siege. So yeah, as you can see here, we have a shock infantry unit, uh, starting off with um, Wayne Riders don't have any sort of swords or spears. They are relying on shock as their infantry sort of, uh, well, their infantry sort of core. And we have very ag axes here, very light shock infantry unit. Uh, that is here as a levy unit. Uh, they have a light shock uh, infantry uh, yeah, very poor missile, uh, very poor missile block, very poor armor, like typical sort of like shock infantry, and also very poor melee defense. 170 man unit, uh, they have 40 melee attack, 40 melee damage. Their armor um, is zero, which is always great to see. And yeah, morale, um, it's saying uh, 26, so uh, with minus without a general. So I guess that uh, would that's with general dead. So that would be. Uh, at 32. Uh, I will just say actually while we're here why the general is dead there is actually uh, and we'll just watch it now going on there is someone here there is a villager constantly attacking the general unit here which we will come on to later in a bit hopefully the general unit is still alive uh, for you guys to see but yeah she's actually apparently doing a lot of damage to that to that general there and um, we then have another unit here the um, trained infantry uh, which look awesome. The heirs of Ulfang. Look at these guys. They look awesome. I love this unit and the look of it. They look really, really cool. Giving me sort of like, um, sort of like, I don't know, North African, like sort of uh, vibes, maybe like, yeah, North African, Sudanese sort of like look a little bit. But they are really, really cool. So yeah, they're the heirs of Ulfang. Uh, excellent melee attack. Very poor missile block chance as it's a shocking unit. It has missile weapon. Uh, so there's a bow, as you can see on this back there. So yeah, these guys are a hybrid unit. Um, so yeah, they have bows and also are a shock unit, so it could be very useful in the siege, I feel like. Um, and yeah, they're pretty solid, you know, 100% health, uh, or 100 health, armor at 40, uh, so you know, can take a few hits if they need to. And you know, their morale as well, if they uh, didn't have, if they had a general, would be 40, so you know, can hold for a little while as well. Uh, and then we have the elite uh, shock infantry with the adherents of the Iron Tower, it's a very, very cool unit. I mean, look at these guys, look awesome. I mean, that guy back there with his like, well, like the stereotypical sort of like Viking horn sort of look. Um, but yeah, you know, Vikings didn't have those. So clearly very uh, boys here do instead. And can't kind of like originate from the Wayne Riders. So you'll see sort of similarities, sort of like kit and armor and weapons from Khan, um, all like the, uh, coming into this. So um, into this faction. So quite a, uh, yeah, they're a predecessor really, a Khan. Or um, also, I guess the Haradrim a little bit. Um, are the uh, are the Wayne Riders? So yeah, these uh, the adherents of the Iron Tower here are the elite shock infantry. The very poor missile block chance, very poor melee defense, but average armor. They have 65 armor. Yes, they actually have some decent armor, uh, and their morale is at uh, 52, and that's actually unfazed. And uh, they don't care about the general being lost. That's kind of interesting to know. Uh, melee attack of 42, melee damage at uh, 40, and the charge bonus is 65. So a little bit more, a little bit more melee attack then. Some of the lesser units, but yeah, a really cool unit nonetheless. We'll move on to the uh, the javelins back here. So yeah, we got these Eastling tribesmen. Um, so yeah, these guys, very uh, light skirmishers. This is the only uh, sort of range unit that the uh, that the Wayne Riders have, apart from one other unit, which I would say. But they are also temperamental themselves. Uh, but yeah, the javelins here could be a very good unit for sort of supporting your cavalry with. Um, and you know, or maybe other melee fights as well if you can get them into those. Um, but yeah, these guys, very poor me uh, melee defense, poor missile block chance, and very poor armor. And yeah, melee attack 26, 32 damage with that melee uh, damage, and then also melee defense zero 
have five armor, five accuracy. These guys are not hitting much. And uh, they also can't really defend themselves. And they have a range of 80, so yeah, obviously low range. And six ammunition. Um, and yeah, they also seem to be unfazed by their general being dead. Oh no, they are. So 31 minus six. So yeah, they'd be at 37 morale if they had uh, all that sort. But they, I guess they're also kind of getting extra stuff, extra boost because of flanks and encouraged by nearby units. Um, but yeah, then the next unit we have here is the Eastron, Eastron War Chief. And it is a Nafatoon unit. So we have another faction with Nafatoons. And uh, yeah, their armor on these units looks amazing, I'd just like to say. I love like the, just like the random like horns and stuff coming off people's helmets. I mean, this guy looks like look a beast right now. He looks awesome. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really cool a faction um, and really cool I unit. Uh, that's for sure. we got like a very much looking like a, a Yom's Viking there. But yeah, these guys, obviously, you know, Nafatoons, there's not really much to say about them, really. The melee attack's 30. Uh, 8, 32, melee defense 40. It looks like they can hold them. There's armors at 50, which is okay, and the health's at 100. So they can take a few hits if they get shot at by missiles, which they inevitably will be. Their morale's at 51, so yeah, these guys will hold for a long time. And they are an elite uh, class and an elite unit. So yeah, these guys, you know, can hold for a little while. They have actually two ammunition, so that's two volleys. It's less than the uh, Isengard uh, Grenadiers, and the, they have a range of 75. So they've actually less range than... Um, the javelins, which actually does make sense. I don't know why I'm saying that. They have more accuracy than the javelins. Um, but obviously, it's not accuracy that they need. They just need to obviously hit a large area. Their splash damage is pretty high. And also, um, they're aiming for sort of like morale damage, not for kills necessarily. But uh, yeah, there you go. That is them. Uh, the um, the Nafatoons, the Eastron War Chief. Very, very cool. We'll move on to the cavalry, uh, which is obviously where the Wayne Riders will really excel. We've got the Wind Lancers here. Which are a very much a, a light sort of shock cav unit, <laughs> looking very similar to sort of like the the Hunnic sort of units you get from Attila Vanilla, but yeah, these guys are very cool, light shock cavalry, very more very poor missile uh, block and also melee defense, very poor armor, and um, yeah, melee attack is 35, 40, charge bonus 110, 150 with health and morale at 31, but I imagine that could be a bit higher. I mean, yeah, it's kind of like sort of around that area so it's, is it the right sort of area the missile block is zero so yeah these guys aren't going to take any hits uh the wind lancers uh, are yeah very very quick one of the quickest cab units around like the speed of 10 um and yeah they're really good but you know vulnerable to the missiles uh, the next unit we have is the battle of lancers uh, and these guys are slightly better, you know, medium shock cav. We've got a very poor missile uh, block as well and melee defense, but a good charge bonus. Um, five uh, melee defense. Yeah, their charge bonus is 110. That's very, very good, actually. These guys are yeah, super good at that job. Missile block of 15. Their speed is 90. So it's still some pretty speedy. Health 150. Um, but yeah, a solid unit. And yeah, I, would, I think these are probably going to be your main bread and butter, I think, what you're probably bringing. Uh, the Balkov uh, Lancers, or it'll probably be the these guys. I do quite like these guys. These are the Fire Riders of Nern, uh, and they're a very, very unique cab unit. Um, so yeah, these guys, they throw Nafatoons. They have an ammunition of one, and that is a Nafatoon. So these guys, yeah, will throw um, one sort of explosive uh, like clay pot before they then go into melee. It's a very cool way to sort of start off your melee fight, throw into it. Uh, incendiary bombs and then charge in with this cav unit could be very useful against a line of infantry um, but yeah they have a charge bonus of 115 and they have a melee attack 100 uh, sorry 45 40 with a melee defense uh, morale 52 speed at 80 so a bit slower missile damage is 18 i'm surprised not higher to be honest with this since they're throwing a nafatoon at someone but yeah really really cool unit i'm a big fan of this it's like it's nice to see that the sub mods adding very cool and unique sort of units uh, like them. The next unit is the Iron Tower Cataphract. So and these guys are, yeah, head to toe covered in iron. And they're a hybrid unit as well. You can see how, uh, they have their bows out to start with. Uh, and they also have a lance. So yeah, very, very cool unit. unit. So they have uh, ammunition 8. Um, and uh, yeah, they have, they're a very, very cool like unit. It's kind of similar to the Scipii Cav that you see in 1212 with the Ottomans and other factions like that. But yeah, charge bonus at 120. Uh, we have melee attack at 45, melee damage at 45, armor at uh, 75, and then we have a health at 150, and the morale's at 57, and that's not really affected by the, the general being lost either, because they're an elite shock cav, and missile damage is 46, which I'm kind of surprised is so high compared to the uh, grenadier-like cav, but fair enough. I mean, I guess 
But yeah, base piercing, or like armor piercing, base damage. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. That's kind of surprising. Uh, like, these guys... Oh, no. Uh, no. That's them, yeah. Three riders. Yeah, the missile damage is 80. And just his armor piercing, zero. Explosive damage, eight. Base damage, 10. Okay, fair enough. We'll move on to the chariots. Which, uh, oh, actually, no, we've got one more cav unit. I do apologize. We have one more cav unit. Oh, my gosh. And they've actually managed to kill off that whole general unit. Okay, I'll do a cut for when we get, I have to get to the general unit and we'll return with him. But I've never seen that before. That's kind of hilarious that uh, one villager has managed to take out all of those chariots and then got killed herself. What, is, what happened there? Um, we've got Carnish Cavalry here as the last uh, unit. It's a bow cav unit. That's very, very cool. It's a trained unit, not elite, even though it's sparkling in gold. Uh, look at this guy's mustache here. Let's look, look at that guy. You know, he's he's uh that's a, that's one mighty piece of uh, a mustache you got there. A bit of facial hair you got there, sir. Very very impressive. But yeah. Anyway, Carnage Cavalry here. Average melee attacks. They're actually decent in melee. Could be a quite a good hybrid unit. Very poor accuracy. Very poor armor. Um, I suppose suppose that accuracy shouldn't be that great. They are like riding on horseback on shooting. Yeah, 15. Range 150 is that similar to like what a normal bow unit does. Uh, melee attack 26. Melee damage 26. Still not that great really. Say for average melee attacks, not that great. Uh, melee defense 10. Armor 40. Speed 80. And yeah, ammunition at 20. They have a good amount of ammunition as well. So that is the final cav unit now officially. Uh, and then we have over here, we have the step chariots, the light chariots. So uh, yeah, chariots, um, a pretty solid unit. You've got to pull through with chariots if you want to use them. And that's well, these are one of the few units I would say you're allowed to pull through with uh, in Dawn Stays or just generally in, in Total War. Um, because that's how you get the best effect out of them. But yes, they have a health of 400, which is obviously the big things. The chariot, they're mostly a chariot and just a man on top and horses. So I guess all that kind of gets merged together. That's how you get 400. Speed 95, so they're pretty speedy. Uh, quicker than quite a lot of uh, cav units, actually. Ammunition at 20, so they can be used as a hybrid unit if they need to be. But don't probably want to be using them for their uh, missile capability. You want to be charging in with these guys and just letting those uh, chariots run over ranks of infantry. Uh, you do not want to be taking these guys on against uh, spearmen. They will mess up your chariots. Um, but yeah, you can see their charge bonus 60, uh, melee attack and damage at 15 and 30. We'll move on to the next uh, level up of chariots. So we've got the Balkoth chariots here. These guys immediately have a bit of a improvement. They have a melee damage of uh, a melee attack, sorry, of 30, uh, which is double basically what the uh, the light chariots have. Uh, the melee damage there is still at 30. A charge bonus 120, so it's, again, got a massive improvement there. Uh, and your speed's still at 80, which is, you know, still pretty speedy. That's as quick as some of the uh, medium cab. And yeah, missile damage at 60, and ammunition at 8. So again, another hybrid unit. And these guys look like they are javelin, and instead, looking at the rider on the back, he looks like he's javelins rather than a bow. And then the final unit over here is the war wanes. So yeah, these are the most elite of the... Uh, the chariots, apart from the uh, the Great Wains, which is the general unit, but that has disappeared. But yeah, look at the like the chariots and like uh, the dragons. Like, they look awesome. I didn't realize like they had like a link to dragons, but fair enough. They're, I'm sure there's some lore for that. Yeah, the War Wains here, anyway. Uh, they have 40 melee attacks. So again, another increase there, and melee damage at 40. So we've seen an increase. These guys are elite, so they usually get that. Uh, charge bonus 150. These guys are knocking things left, right, and center. And they have the side blades. So, yeah, they're going to do a lot of damage there. Morales at 62. Um, so, yeah, they really unfazed by no general as well. They'll fight on. And they are a really solid unit. Uh, zero missile block chance here. Yeah, these guys, yeah, very easy to counter with, like, cav or missiles. It's a good way to counter them. Along with spears as well. Um, so, yeah, that is all of the units there. I will do a quick cut and I will return with the Great Waves. Okay, here we are with the uh, unit that we missed out on because that villager decided to murder the entire chariot unit. Shows how vulnerable, you know, chariots are uh, if they stay stationary. They can get murdered even by a peasant. Yes, this is the Great Wayne unit. It's the only general unit available uh, to the Wayne Riders at the moment. I don't know if that's going to change or whether it's going to stay like that. Um, but yes, these are the Great Wayne. So uh, this is what... Uh, the Wayne Rider Chiefs are running, riding to battle with. There's a four horse uh, chariot. It's a big old thing. So, yeah, a super heavy chariot. It's big, big, big. And, uh, yeah, a melee uh, attack 40, melee damage of 40. Charge bonus 200. Armor 75. Health of 400. And some morale. Uh, yeah, 71. That's with the general as well. So, it's really 60 
uh, the base there. We've got speed of 70, so it's a bit slower, but you know, it's hitting hard. It's setting up. Uh, it's got a lot of like weight to sort of carry. You know, it's still also a hybrid unit. It's got bows on the back, so it has 20 ammunition as well. But yes, I will make another quick cut and I'll uh, show you guys the roster. So here we are, and as you can uh, see, we have pretty much shown off all of the units. Uh, the only thing we didn't show off was the artillery, but there's nothing new there. But yeah, we've got a lot of chariots here, so chariot heavy faction is the way around. It's got bow cav, shock cavalry, nafatoons, skirmishers, shock infantry, and a general. Um, but there are a whole bunch of other factions as well, so that you can play as. There's Angmar, Arthur Dane, and Dolgador is WR, so that's the one you need to use Wayne Riders. Because uh, the Wayne Rider factions are uh, not balanced with base factions, so you need to play Wayne Rider factions against Wayne Rider factions. So, yeah, so like Angmar, Arthur Dane, Dolgador, Wayne Riders, uh, you've got Gondor, Wayne Riders as well. You've got High Elves, which have a whole bunch of factions. Well, most of these factions are pretty, uh, like, well built, you know, like complete. Uh, so yeah, then you have High Elves, you then have a Ravanian, which is the uh, like the uh, predecessor of Rohan, and also Dale as well. And then you have the Wayne Riders and the Wood Elves, which I played as in a recent uh, Siege video. But yeah, those are all the factions you play. If you play this mod with another sub mod and you're like, oh, this, ba this, get this uh, mod's unbalanced and it's not fair, it's because you're playing it wrong. You should be playing it just solely. Wayne Rider factions against Wayne Rider factions. I'll say this now before all the complaints for this fact, this uh, sub mod come out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you want to check out the sub mod, uh, I've left a link for it in the description of this uh, video, and it's on the Steam Workshop as well. Just simply type in Wayne Riders into the Attila Steam Workshop. You'll find it very easily, even if you don't have to use. It makes it easy then. You don't even need to use the link. It's that simple. But yeah, go and check it out. Go and get some replays for it if you want to. Send them into my Discord. The link for that is down below in the description. And don't forget to leave a like, leave a subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. Show your love, guys, for the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.